Hello, my name is Curry. It is an honor for you to meet me, kind sir and ma'am. Hey guys, welcome to another dose of what ifery, and this time I am continuing my own little April Fool's Dragon Ball What If discussion. Mind you, part one was a couple of days late. And that is... What if Cell Jr. turned good? I know, really? Really scraping the bottom of the barrel for ideas, aren't I? <laughs> anyway... Let's get straight into this. But first, a quick reminder for those of you who are interested in... Doing fan art... Whether it's for these... Dragon Ball What Ifs or any of my um, comic content you like on the channel, um, you can email them simply at my email address or you can simply tweet them to me at Toshio Rai with the hashtag RiseArt and they will be put into the RiseArt Showcase YouTube videos that I'm really keen to start and I will be discussing them, you know letting you guys know what I think of them and it may help you guys get a little exposure for your art if that sort of thing interests you. Our story began last time towards the end of the Cell games during the final Kamehameha struggle between Cell and Gohan. Cell has realized he is in the losing end of this and well using Piccolo cells and that Piccolo intellect. Cell basically does a King Piccolo and fires out one final Cell Jr. and sends him off flying way, way away from the Z Warriors so they can't detect his energy. And he ends up landing right in the Sano's village. You know, cute little redhead girl from Dragon Ball who helped Goku. And, much like how Goku was freezing to de death in that place, so was, um, Cell Jr. And he is, of course, taken in by an adult Sano and Android number 8, or Ata, who basically decide to raise the creature as their own. And, um, through those acts of kindness, they actually manage to change Cell Jr.'s personality quite a bit, and which ultimately leads to him forgetting about his mission to avenge Cell by um, basically taking out Gohan and the Dragon Team. And throughout his years of um, helping out his um, little village community, and um, actually making friends with Goten when he when he actually was going to go over there and kill Gohan he meets a little toddler Goten and a friendship sort of forms between the two in the most comedic of circumstances basically toddler Goten for his cell through a boulder when um, when Cell Jr. was going to basically execute the toddler with a death beam and Basically, they bonded over that, and a weird friendship started to form. Um, Cell Jr., who is, of course, renamed Curry, yeah, Snow and Ada decided to name him Curry because he just loves to eat that curry. <laughs> and instead of um, absorbing life energy through his tail, S Curry has been absorbing the energy from plants and trees. Not exactly good for the environment, but at least he's not killing people, right? Anyway, now, where we last left off, Cell Jr. and Sano were finally willing to introduce Curry to the Dragon Team, because Curry wants to make up in some form 
everything that his father, Cell, had done. He doesn't want to kill the Dragon Team anymore, all because of his friendship with Goten. And with um, Goten's help, because we've jumped ahead to where uh, Gohan has started high school at Orange Star High School. And basically, Cell Jr. has now been introduced to Gohan and Chi Chi, which you can imagine was pretty awkward. Goten's are like, hey mom, look at my, this is my friend I've been telling you about. He's, he's been visiting me for years. And they are shocked because Chi Chi for Goten friend was um, imaginary. Because they never met him until now and they are shocked to see a creature that looks just like Cell standing there. Gohan is just sort of horrified. That thing, that's a Cell Junior. We fought these things in the Cell game. Goten, get away from it. But Sano so, so does manage to explain to them that this Cell Junior is not like the others. He has been living peacefully in Sano's village all this time and has been a good little Cell Junior, doing his part for the community. And that sort of takes Gohan back a little bit, gets him to, you know, lower his hand that's got the key blast ready to fire. And Cell, Cell Jr., just in a comedic way, just um, gives Gohan and Chi-Chi a greeting, and it ends up sounding pretty much how Goku does a greeting when he's introduced to Beerus for the first time. Hello, I am Curry. It is an honor for you to meet me, kind sir and madam. Salutations. <laughs> Remember, Cell Jr. is actually quite a bit older than Goten. Cell Jr. already had an eight-year-old body. With the time skip that we've done, he's like, he'd be like a 13, 14-year-old boy. Still just young enough to join the junior division of the tournament, which we will get to a little later. All right, right, so there's an awkward moment, Cell and Gohan sitting with the with his family having dinner and Curry actually being really nice and helping Chi Chi out with the dishes. I know, such a well-mannered Cell Junior, hey? And, well, Gohan starts catching on to the fact that Cell Junior is absorbing trees to survive, to get that life energy he needs. And Gohan has a bit of an idea on how to solve that problem and give Cell Junior a leftover sensu bean, just a, a sensu bean he's been holding on to all these years since the Cell games. And um, this actually manages to restore Cell Junior to full health. Ah, well there you go. We can just make sure we got sensu beans handy. Because remember, the sensu bean not only does it restore someone to full health, it also keeps you full for 10 days. Perfect, perfect thing to be feeding Curry without damaging the environment at all with him absorbing trees and plants. And is he eventually introduced to, to um, Vegeta, Bulma, and Tr the Trunks and Capsule Corp? Yes, but he's actually already friends with Trunks because Curry, uh, Goten, and Trunks would play with Curry. Whenever Trunks came over, they played with him in secret. Did, did Trunks know what he was? Did Goten tell him? Yes, of course he did, which is why it was such a big secret. And Bulma Shaw, you knew about this all, the, all this time? I ought to ground you for three months, young man. But ultimately, Bulma was pretty quick to come around, but Vegeta, on the other hand... Oh no, he, Vegeta remembers the humiliation he suffered at the hands of the Cell Juniors and Cell, nah, uh, Vegeta wants to destroy this abomination. Fine, play with the creepy monster if you want to, but I'm warning you, he comes within five feet of me, I will destroy him myself. 
Yes, Vegeta is not happy about this at all. And then we basically head towards the whole Great Saiyan Man thing with Gohan and Videl, the World Martial Arts Tournament. The difference is that Goten has two training partners this time. He has both Curry and Gohan doing training with him. Which is a big help for the young half Saiyan. <laughs> and everyone else is training just as they do in the anime right up until the tournament begins and Goku's able to come back for his 24 hours. And he's shocked to see a Cell Jr. just sitting, standing there with the others. Now, in order to prevent a panic, they've had to disguise Curry in his own attire. You know, just something to hide the wings and the tail and that sort of cell-like crown on his head. Just to prevent a panic. Much like how Junior had to go into a bit of a disguise when he fought Goku in the tournament. Goten, Trunks... And Curry all end up fighting in the junior division. That pretty much plays out per normal until we get to Curry battling with both the boys and ultimately winning the taunt, the junior division. Which puts him in his exhibition match with Hercule. And Bohu will sell well, Curry, rather. I keep forgetting to say Curry. Curry has been waiting for this. And of course Hercule witnessing the fight. And he, he can tell even without a tie that this thing is one of those blue creatures from the Cell games. And those other two he was fighting were much like those heroes who opposed Cell. Hercule is in no hurry to get in there. But Curry, he's just sort of standing there with his hands out going... <laughs> and he does go out there, and he's like, All right there, um, little buddy, let the best man win. Don't forget that old champion's greeting. And he's, as the cell dude, he's just like, Quit stalling, let's just get this over with. And that actually gets under Hercules' skin. He's like, you got it, Pipsqueak! And he charges him, and basically Curry knocks him out the ring, exactly like Cell did in the Cell games. Like, you know, just that... And he is sent out of the ring into one of the um, stadium barricades. But of course, Hercule gets back up, and he's... Uh, Faking that he lost on purpose. Oh, 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 what a punch, man! Oh, oh, what a great little fighter! I love you all! And everyone, of course, buying the charade. But, so, Junior, he's just sort of sitting there cross eyed, eyes closed with that smirk, you know? Just, just that sort of smirk that Cell used to do. And he just walks away. Now, Vegeta cannot stomach this. He can't stomach that for the second time he has been humiliated by one of these Cell Junior creatures. First, when the Cell Juniors basically mop the floor with him during the Cell games, and when his son losing to this minute, to this teenager looking bug man. Vegeta cannot take it. But he knows if he does, he'll have everyone else jumping on him. And the rest of the tournament pretty much plays out per normal with them meeting Supreme Kai and Kabito. Who are interested in meeting this Goku they've heard so much about. But of course, they're not really interested in the tournament. They're here keeping their eyes on Spopovich and Yamu. And I think that's actually where we're going to leave things for now this time. So, what do you guys think? Did you like this little Cell Junior turn good addition? 
are you looking forward to part three? Anyway, let me know in the comments and let's get this discussion going. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the video for more Dragon Ball What Ifs and keep an eye open for those um, comics. Alright, I'll catch us all later. See you next time.